Hello, I'll present our work, Infinite, Video Frame Interpolation from Fusion of Events and Frames. The EFI shortcut represents Event Frame Interpolation. This research was done by our team from Samsung Israel R&D Center. We are on the algorithm team that has been dealing with DBS sensors and other Samsung's advanced sensors that will come in the future. A short recap of video frame interpolation. The goal of video frame interpolation is to synthesize non-existent frames by interpolating over a set of sequential frames in the video stream. When the interpolated frame is somewhere between the keyframes in time, the interpolated frame does not have any temporal evidence as prior. Therefore, it is clear that it does not necessarily represent a real scenario. We realize that an event camera has the potential for improving video frame interpolation by using sparse spatial data at high temporal resolution. Our goal by adding the data from the event camera is a precise temporal frame synthesis, and also more related to the real world frame. We can see an illustration of the relation of the DVS events and the classic camera frame. You can see here a comparison between our work and two known previous works, Super Slow Motion and Dane. It can be seen that our edges are sharper. We have seen great success of convolutional neural networks in solving event reconstruction problems. Inspired by them, our algorithm is a full CNN solution performed in three phases. Phase 1 fuses the data from the intensity images and the event stream into an intensity estimation of the interpolated frame and the spatial resolution of the event camera. Phase 2 upscales the output of phase 1 to the spatial resolution of the conventional camera. Finally, phase 3 colorizes the intensity image to output the final color frame. You can see a high-level overview of our pipeline. The color and the intensity are separated by conversion to the LAB color space and launch through three phases. For input, events are rearranged into a tensor in a manner similar to other event reconstruction works. Continuous time is beamed in tensor channels with every event affecting the two nearest pins. For more details, please refer to the paper. Let's take a look on some results over time. It can be seen that when the input FPS is lower, the FEM net is less vulnerable. You can refer to supplementary material for more examples. Our work outperforms others by more than 5 dB on the UZH dataset, and also on our dataset when receiving keyframes and 30 FPS. Thank you for your attention.